you might have one of these Build-A-Bear workshops near you. Your kids may be dazzled by the cute, whimsical storefront. Your little genius says, take me here. We're not buying some meaningless plastic junk. We're making a new friend. Sure, we can look around, you say. What could possibly happen, you say? The bear face is so friendly, you say? Well, this. This is what happens when things get out of hand, Build-A-Bear style. Don't let this happen to you by surprise, wise parents. In this video, we'll share five simple tips from personal experience and research to help you get the most out of your fun visit while keeping as much of your money as possible after you leave. Stick around for tip number five, which is the best deal going at Build-A-Bear. Behind this fluffy, smiling face is, surprise, a publicly traded corporation. Founded in 1997, Build-A-Bear says it's helped customers create more than 160 million furry friends. That, my friends, is a lot of furry friends. There were more than 400 Build-A-Bear corporate and franchise stores globally as of 2020, according to the company. Most are more traditional, standalone workshops, but Build-A-Bear also expanded its operations with locations inside Walmarts, Concourse shops, and smaller footprint and non-traditional locations, including temporary stores and pop-up shops in partnership with a variety of cruise lines and hotels. All to say, you may be planning a visit to store, or it could be a spur-of-the-moment idea while you're traveling or out with your kids. The best approach is to plan ahead or plan to spend more, a lot more. Here are five things you need to know. Tip number one, budget your time. An average visit generally takes about 30 to 60 minutes, depending on a number of factors. How busy the store is overall, if you have to wait to get in, the wait to stuff the new friend, and how long it takes your kids to pick out everything from clothes to accessories. Make sure you leave enough time before or after a meal and plan a bathroom break ahead of time because you'll want to make sure there aren't distractions or unnecessary stress that would take away from the experience. Tip number two, know what to expect. The process is this. Your kids first pick out which bear or other animal they'd like to buy. Step number one, you get it stuffed, sewn up, and can add things like scents and sounds. Step number two, and then you get to go shopping again for clothes and accessories. Step number three. Once you're set, you print a cute birth certificate and you're ready to check out. Oh, and you can pick a carrying case to bring them home in style. Get your phone or camera ready during the stuffing process because it's a memorable and heartwarming interactive event that your kid gets to participate in. Tip number three, savings idea. If you're even considering repeat visits, Make sure to sign up for the bonus club to track points and rewards, and so you know about special offers. It's a move that's well worth it. At checkout, you'll probably be asked if you want to buy some discounted gift cards. There's a standing offer of $10 gift cards for $5 each, up to a set limit. Again, if you're considering coming back, it's essentially a no-brainer because this is a de facto discount. Another great deal is to buy discounted gift cards through your warehouse club. At the time of this video, in the US, both Costco and Sam's Club are offering these discounts. Interestingly though, the offer at Sam's Club is slightly better, but check the latest prices. Amazon sometimes offers discounted gift cards as well, so keep an eye out for sales. Overall, planning ahead with a combination of coupons and discounted gift cards is a financially smarter idea than an impulse visit, and Build-A-Bear knows this. Tip number four, know the upsell. Two things in particular help make your cost skyrocket, branded bears and accessories. As you can guess, generic, so to speak, Build-A-Bear animals tend to cost less than say the latest Star Wars or Disney branded friend. But special edition or themed bears, for example, a Halloween bear, also can command a bit of a premium. Plus, if you're into specific branded lines of stuffed animals, 
he'll also probably be snared by the big money maker. Accessories. By accessories, I mean everything from clothes, to shoes, to just about any other embellishment you can possibly think of that makes your bear unique and personal, and also drives up the price. Let's look at an example. Say you just filled a basic bear for $18. Good news, stuffing is included at no extra charge. So, your out the door cost may be $18 plus any taxes for our plain Jane bear. Or, fall into the trap. Start with the same bin. $18. Heartbeat sound. $6.50. Cotton candy scent. Refit. Witty and ironic t-shirt. $7. Jeans. $7. Basic high top shoes. $8. Oh, and don't forget, if you get a four-legged friend, you're in for two sets of shoes. Witty and ironic accessory to match the witty and ironic t-shirt. $4.50. Cardboard Bear House, $1. Total, $54.50, plus tax, for a stuffed animal, or friend. As you can see, the accessories add up quickly. To help things not get out of hand, consider setting expectations ahead of time for what accessory or accessories your kids can shop for, so there aren't surprises on their side or sticker shock on your side. Tip number five birthday value. The best value in the store is the birthday beer. Take your kid during the birthday month and you only pay their eight. So if they're turning three, you pay three dollars for the special birthday beer. The bear rotates every year or so, so just by building birthday bears year after year, you can amass quite the Build-A-Bear pack. It's a fun tradition our family enjoys with our children. Keep in mind though, the birthday deal only applies to the birthday child. If you bring a second, non-birthday kid, and they also want to build a bear, surprise, you're paying full price. If you have more than one child with the same birthday month, well, lucky you, because they'll both get the birthday deal. I hope this video has been useful as you think about taking your kids to an exciting and memorable Build-A-Bear experience. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and let us know if you have suggestions for future videos just like this. Thanks for watching and here's to all you adventurous parents out there.